How would you like to do this man to man? No guns. Yeah. Been around here for a long time, and I've heard some pretty tall tales with this one. Surely stops the clock. Tell me the truth, Sheriff. That's exactly the way it happened. Well, the judge will be here in a few days. You can try your story on him. Sheriff. What do you want, Quinn? Well, I uh, heard what happened to Leggett, so I thought I just better step up and tell you what I know. Like what? Well, it was bad blood between this one and Leggett. They had a big fight out near my corrals the day they started the drive for Sacramento. Oh, I heard about that fight and four or five more. Did you hear he said he was going to kill Leggett? Did you say that, boy? Yeah, yeah, I probably did. About the time he was knocking me down or I was knocking him down. We were a little bit riled up, Sheriff. All right, you said your piece, Quinn, so, uh... Why don't you go on back to buying cattle and leave the law work to me, all right? I'm just doing my duty, Sheriff. Thanks a lot, conscientious citizen. Sheriff? Yeah? Can I send a telegram? To who? Ben Cartwright in Sacramento. Yeah, I reckon you can if you can write it out and pay for it. Thanks a lot. Leggett pull a knife on you. The Leggett and I were always fighting, you know that. Well, I know that, but fighting is one thing and murder is something else entirely. Yeah, I know. Well, why did he use the gun? Why did he throw away the gun? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he didn't want to make the noise. That horse thief. Was he the only Indian around? He's the only one I saw. I know he's the only man that can prove I didn't kill Leggett. What did he look like? About my height, my weight. Uh... Long black hair. 
He wore a blue shirt, sleeves were cut off, and a uh, beaded belt. How do you find a horse thief? I don't know. Easy to find a needle in a haystack. All we can do is start looking where Candy saw him last. Yeah, even if we find him, can he take his work? Hey, pa, I got an idea. Yeah. I'll need some money. How much? $200. Your ideas are bold, but very expensive, Joseph. For Candy's sake and yours, I, I hope this is a good one. 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, right. Right. I've sold you Cartwrights a lot of horses, but I've never sold you one as good as this. Never for that kind of price either, Jack. $200 for that horse is highway robbery, and you know it. <laughs> you Cartwrights can afford it. I'll see you later. Thanks, Jack. Little brother. Quit playing games with me. What do you want with this horse, anyhow? I'm gonna use him for bait, Hoss. Bait? Bait. I've already gone over the facts of the case with the sheriff. You have? I realize Mr. Canaday would need a good lawyer, in which case he'd come to me. It saves time if I'm conversant with fact. They have a good case, circumstantial but strong. It could go either way. Do you think you can help them? I'll try. The fee is $500 in advance. You don't think the man's life is worth $500? Well, yes, I guess I do, of course, but... You're paying me to tip the scales of justice in your favor. Justice is not inexpensive. Troubles. You know, if we can get a pout to come up and steal that, that apple loose 10 to 1, it won't be the right pout. Uh, we'll just turn them loose and wait for the right one, that's all. Yeah, but will the right pout come along before they hang Gandy or after? Got it, boy. John Leggett, didn't you? No anymore, I don't. He's dead. Well, <laughs> I know. Uh, Charlie boy, I was wondering if you knew of anybody who might have a reason to kill old Leggett. Me. Leggett don't pay me my wages. But I didn't kill him. Besides, I scared of Leggett. This is funny. Leggett was scared too. Mean as a scorpion. But he was scared. He owed somebody a lot of money. Drinking together one night. He told me if he don't pay up, he's going to get killed. Who do you owe the money to?
I don't know. That's when I fell asleep. Well, no sign of anybody. Two days we haven't even seen an Indian. Yeah, we can't get lucky like Custer. It was a good idea, Joe. It just didn't work. We'll get back into Reno first thing in the morning for the trial. All right. sleep trying to catch you. And ain't nothing makes me matter than losing all that sleep. Joe! Wake up, Joe. I think we got him. At least we got a fella that fits the description. In blue shirt, beaded belt. Fits the description, all right. What's your name? Oh, how's you play? Well, I can say we come as friends. <laughs> yeah, I got a feeling he's not going to believe that. Look, we need your help. How do you say we need your help? Come so to Paul. What do you say? That's how you say we need your help. Speaks English. I also speak Paiute, which makes me smarter than you. Well, if you're so smart, how'd you let us catch you? All right, horse. Look, we've been looking for you. Is that why you have been leaving that horse staked out? Yeah. How did you expect to find me while you were hiding under trees? Well, we found you. That's the important thing, ain't it? About a week ago, you tried to grab two horses. Uh, a friend of ours caught up with you, a fellow named Candy. You had a fight. Do you remember that? Why? Because during that fight, there was a shot. That shot killed a man. And that friend of ours is being held for murder. I remember. It happened as you say. All right, will you come with us to Reno and testify to that? No. I told you, you go to Reno and tell them. We can't do that. You're the witness. You have to testify. All right. Bring them here. I will tell them. We can't bring the court here. You're going to have to go there. If you don't, he'll hang. If I do go, they will hang me. No, they won't. Now, look, we guarantee it. We'll get you into town and out again. No. Well, they probably wouldn't take the word of a horse thief anyhow. I am a chief. You're a horse thief. I am a great horse thief. Brave men steal the horses of their enemies. When you steal a man's horse, you steal his pride. It gives you honor. Where I come from, it gets you hung. Look, we can take you whether you want to go or not. Even if they will not believe a horse thief? Well, they might believe a chief. Ah, oh, Joe, he ain't no chief. Chief wouldn't let himself get caught this easy. You did not catch me. I caught you.
If I told him to cut your heart out, he would do it. If I told him to strip the flesh off your back inch by inch, he would do it. Do you know why? Because I am a chief. You're not a chief, you're a coward. Shall I show you? Oh, hell, by having him kill me? The Cheyenne let their women kill prisoners. Are you trying to prove you're as brave as a Cheyenne squaw? No, a chief is a man who looks for justice. He couldn't let an innocent man die. It'll be just one less white man for me to kill. It takes no courage to have someone else do your killing. You're a coward. You're afraid of the white man. I will go with you to Reno. But before this is over, you will eat your words. Because I will feed them to you on the point of this knife, one by one. talk about me like I'm some kind of horse. He speaks English. Why don't you tell me? Uh, Who is he? Oh, it's my father. What is his name? Ben Carter. Can he speak Paiute? Oh, I, think I can, can speak for myself. I can too. So if you have any more questions, ask me. Um, sorry. The pass, uh, why not I'm talking here to, uh, uh... Joe Kova. <clears throat> well, I, uh, go over to Mr. Scott. He's the lawyer I hired and tell him I want him over here. I want him to hear what Joe Kova has to say. Well, fine. Can we get something to eat first while I'm starving? Yeah, I'm kind of hungry myself. Is it Joe? Yeah, I can use a steak. Uh, Joe Kova? Mm. Yeah. What would you like to eat? You just name it and we'll be happy to get it for you. Buffalo hump. Oh, I, I, I don't think that they'd have buffalo hump in the restaurant. Then I'll have boiled dog. You don't uh, eat what everybody else eats, huh? How about steak? That's cow. Yeah, but, uh, it, it is a cow. It, it, you know, they might have some venison. Well, as a matter of fact, they do. I saw it on the menu. They have that venison. Venison. Fine. How do you want it fixed? Or an open fire made with dry buffalo chips. Oh, well, sure. Yes, sir. Yeah, Hoss, uh, stop by at the jail on the way and uh, tell Canada the good news. Yeah. Well, uh... Yeah, I think uh, this would be a good room for you to be in. That way nobody can get in here without coming through here first. See? That way nobody will get to see you. I'll uh, call you as soon as the food gets up. Oh, brother. What's the matter? Well, do you know what that is? Hmm? The most wanted Indian in the territory. What? Well, there isn't a lawman around that doesn't want to get his hands on him. Oh, well, that's great. What do we do now? Try to figure out some way of keeping our only witness from being hanged.
leather soft. Mm. You know, I was wondering, where'd you learn to speak English? From Pony Soldier. When I was small, I lived outside of the Fort Gates. Is that where you learned to hate the white man? You think because I steal their horses, I hate the white man? When you kill him. I have never killed one white man. Everybody thinks you have. Yes, this is good. If they think I am a killer, they do not chase me when I steal their horses. Who's that? It's me, Paul. Well, I'm old slow. Good evening, Mr. Cartwright. Good evening. You picked a most inconvenient time for consultation. Well, I didn't think this could wait. Trial is tomorrow. It hasn't slipped my mind, if that's what's worrying you. I would like to get back to my poker game. A man is on trial for his life, and that trial starts tomorrow morning. And I'm defending him. That is a terrible responsibility, Mr. Cartwright. I'm fully aware that I hold another man's life in my hands. In court tomorrow, I will do my very best. Well, Mr. Scott, I'm sure that you will do your very best, and... Uh... As a matter of fact, to ensure that, we have a witness for you, a, an eyewitness, a man who was with Candy when that shot was fired. Then he really is innocent. What do you think? It doesn't matter what I think. Innocence or guilt, it's for the jury to decide. All right. Let's see the witness. You're joking. He was with Candy when Lecky was killed. He is Jokova, isn't he? Yes. I'm sorry you went to all that trouble. We can't possibly use him. His appearance in court would prejudice the entire case. How? He's an Indian and a wanted man. You mean you, you're not going to use the only witness we have who can corroborate Candy's story? No. It would only confuse the court. They wouldn't know whether to hang the defendant or hang the witness. They might end up by hanging them both side by side. You're not going to use them? No. Well, then, I'm afraid we're going to have to get ourselves another lawyer. If you can find one. I'll see you at the trial anyway. I wouldn't miss this for the biggest poker game in Denver. I think it was the best lawyer in town. Well, I say good riddance. Let's get the second best. Well, he's also the second best and third and worst. He's the only lawyer in Reno. I guess that leaves it up to us and, and Jokova. Jokova, just tell me exactly what happened out there so I'll know what to say in court. Two white men were fighting while I stole their horses. Oh, I, I don't think you'd better say anything about stealing horses in court. It is the truth. Yes, I know it. You tell it just the way it happened. <sighs> Who's there? Sheriff Crawler. Yeah. Hey, man. 
Come here, Sheriff. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Cartwright, but uh, somebody said they seen your two boys here sneaking the engine up right the back way. Huh? Said it looked a whole lot like Joker. Well, I wonder who'd say anything like that. I don't know, but as long as I'm here, I might as well take a look around. What's in there? <laughs> really? What's going on here? There's something in there, Mr. Cartwright, you don't want me to see? Of course not. Well, you, you won't mind if I take a look at myself, then, will you? You still down there? Right where you left me. See nobody come out of your window? Uh, nothing's moved since you went up them stairs. before it's time for you to appear in court. And when it is time, I'll have the boys come and get you. for the defense of Mr. Kennedy. Come here a minute. You're no lawyer, Ben. Well, I know. What makes you think you can handle the defense of a man who's on trial for his life? Somebody's got to do it. Oh. Can't get a lawyer to take the case, huh? All right. There's something you ought to know that's very important. If murder's proved, it's a hanging offense. Now, let's get on with it. Hiram, uh, Mr. Prosecutor, call your witnesses. 
I called Joe Cartwright. Put your hand on the Bible. You swear to tell the truth? Yeah. Sit down. Mr. Cartwright, did you ever see the uh, defendant and the murdered man in a fight? Yeah, I guess I did. How often? Two or three times, I guess. Maybe four? Yeah, maybe. Enough to know they really hated each other, right? I'm waiting for your answer, Mr. Cartwright. Candy didn't kill him. What were they usually fighting about? Oh, anything and everything. It didn't take much of a reason and never was very serious. Do you think either of them took the threat seriously? Well, Leggett said that Candy was a hard case and meant to kill him. Now, in your opinion, why would the murderer bring the body of his victim back to town? Hmm. Throw suspicion off himself and maybe onto the Indians? But could it have been the Indians? Well, he still had his scalp. No, I don't think it was the Indians. Your witness, Mr. Cartwright? No questions. That's all, Sheriff. Thank you. That's my case, Judge. Ben? Boys, go get Joker. Don't bring him in. Don't let anybody see him until I call for him. I have to tell you, he's got a pretty good case. You sure you can handle the defense? Well, sir, that depends on you and Hiram. I personally guarantee the safety if he'd come in here and testify. Well, I'd kind of like to hear what this joke of a has to say. Hiram? I don't know, Judge. What is it you don't know, Hiram? Well, in the first place, he's a savage. Yes, oh. His swearing on the Bible wouldn't mean a thing. Oh, come on. You don't have to believe in the Bible to be able to tell the truth. But there's more to it than that. Get off your high horse, Hiram. Let's see what this man has got to say. It's your courtroom. You can go. Now, Ben Cartwright is about to call a witness. You may not like this witness, but he's here to see justice done. And if anyone so much as lays a hand on him, he's gonna have me to deal with and the devil to pay. Ben, call your witness. Well, Your Honor, uh... My, my, my boys have just gone out to, uh, to get him, and I'm sure they'll be here in, in just a moment. You've got 30 seconds. Where is he? He's gone. He ain't there. He ain't nowhere. We can find him nowhere. He looked all over. Yeah. You're delaying things, Cartwright. Your Honor, uh... I would like to ask for a temporary recess and uh, until we until we can find our witness. I am here, Mr. Cartwright.
same place he got the coat, I guess. Your Honor, I'm ready to proceed. Shut up! <clears throat> Would you please tell the court your name? Jokova. And you are a member of the Paiute Nation? I am a chief. Uh, chief Jokova? Do you know what this trial is about? Yes. Now, would you please tell the court where you were and what you were doing the day Leggett was killed? I was hiding in the woods. I saw two men coming. One was the man who was killed. The other was this one. They left their horses and they climbed to a high point to look around. The one who was killed attacked this one with a knife. While they were fighting, I ran out to steal their horses. Shut up! <clears throat> I see. And then? I was riding away with their horses when this one jumped from uh, a bank and knocked me from the saddle. While we were fighting, there was a shot. I thought more white men were coming, so I rode away and hid. I saw this one run back to the other man. The other man was already dead. Thank you, Chief Joker. Your witness. Why did you hide when you saw the two riders approaching? Because I was going to steal their horses and their guns. Shut up! Did you intend to kill him? Only if I had to. Judge, you can't take the word of a man like this. He just confessed to being a horse thief and a would-be murderer. Why, you don't believe all the things he said about himself, do you? I certainly do. Well, if they're true, the rest is true. And Mr. Canaday is innocent. Sit down, Hiram. Was Leggett killed by an Indian? No. If it had been one of my Indians, he would have bragged about it. Did you see anything else? This. It was in the grass where the two white men were fighting. Why didn't you mention this before? Nobody asked me. Mr. Kennedy? Do you own a gold toothpick? <laughs> me? I never owned a gold toothpick. I don't think I've ever seen a two or three before. Wait, 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 wait. Joe, Joe, who was it? Quinn! Yeah, it's Quinn. Mr. Quinn, if you've got a gold toothpick, let's see it. I, uh... Well, I, uh... I guess I left it at home. Your Honor? I'd like to ask another question. Go right ahead. Jokova, is there something that you haven't told us because nobody's asked it of you? Yes. What is it? 
After this man rode out with body, I saw another white man come out from hiding behind trees. I followed him to Reno. It was this man. That's a lie. And he rode an unshod Indian pony. Lies. Every word. No, 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 they're not lies. An unshod pony to make the killing look like the work of the Paiutes. No! You and Liggett were working together. No. Of course they were. That's why Liggett wanted to bring the herd back to Reno. To sell the beef to you for $12 a head. Instead of the 18 we could get in Sacramento. Of course. That's what Charlie Boy was talking about. He said that Leggett owed somebody a lot of money. That he was afraid the fellow was going to kill him. It was you that killed him, wasn't it? No. I think you're lying. Put that man in jail, Crawley. Well, George, what about uh, Jokova? Well, if it hadn't been for Jokova, we might have hanged an innocent man. Now, the rest of you people, sit down. This court is still in session. You take that man over and I'll lock him up, Crawley. Yes, sir. Mr. Quinn, you're going to need a good lawyer. I'll go with you. Now, the rest of us are going to sit here for 30 minutes while I review this case. Ben, I don't think I'm going to need you or your witness anymore. Thank you, Your Honor. Jokova, let's go. Horses are ready, Paul. Oh, good. We're almost ready, too. Jokova, hold it. Don't nobody move now. I don't want nobody to get hurt. All I want is out of that Indian. Now, you just put your guns on the bed spread there, real nice and neat like. Come on. All right, if you'll just fold it up in a nice little bun for me. The judge promised you the immunity. I don't care what the judge said. under the bed, Sheriff, where I was before. Come in. All of you. You called me a coward. Now you will eat your words. You're a brave man. And a chief. You're also a thief. A great thief. A big thief, anyway. You will go with me. As I told you, I have killed many white men. One more will make no difference. Do not follow me. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. He means it. He'll kill Joseph. Yeah, take the horse. He's yours. Go on. I told you he's yours. What are you waiting for? If I rode into my village on this horse now, my people would know you gave him to me. What's wrong with that? I do not accept gifts from my enemies. Or from your friends? You know something? It'd feel mighty good to get back to that ranch. <laughs> For a while there, I thought maybe I wasn't going to make it. <laughs> Candy. Hey, 
Hey, Jokova. Jokova. I didn't get a chance to thank you. Welcome. It is not easy to be friends with your enemy. Now, before I steal from a white man, I will have to look into his face to see that I am not stealing from a friend. Take care. Chief. You know, after you get to know him, he's a pretty decent sort of fellow, wasn't he? Yeah. Sure did a lot for me. Mm. Yeah. You know, in a way, I'm sorry I didn't take that horse. Yeah. Strange man. But in his own way, a very honest man. Yeah. That son of a gun stole the horse. Well, as I said, in his own way, a very honest man. and you know it. <laughs> you cut rates can afford it. I'll see you later. Thanks, Jack. Little brother, quit playing games with me. What do you want with this horse, anyhow? I'm gonna use him for bait, huh? Bait? Bait. I've already gone over the facts of the case with the sheriff. I realize Mr. Canaday would need a good lawyer, in which case he'd come to me. It saves time if I'm conversant with facts. They have a good case, circumstantial but strong. It could go either way. Do you think you can help him? I'll try. The fee is $500 in advance. You don't think the man's life is worth $500? Well, yes, I guess I do, of course, but... You're paying me to tip the scales of justice in your favor. Justice is not inexpensive. Would Leggett pull a knife on you? The Leggett and I were always fighting, you know that. Well, I know that, but fighting is one thing and murder is something else entirely. Yeah, I know. Well, why did he use the gun? Why did he throw away the gun? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he didn't want to make the noise. That horse thief. Was he the only Indian around? He's the only one I saw. I know he's the only man who can prove I didn't kill Leggett. What did he look like? About my height, my weight. Uh, Long black hair, he wore a blue shirt, sleeves are cut off, and a uh, beaded belt. How do you find a horse thief? I don't know. Easy to find a needle in a haystack. All we can do is start looking where Candy saw him last. Yeah, even if we find him, can we take his work? Hey, I got an idea. Yeah. 
I'll need some money. How much? Two hundred dollars. Your ideas are bold, but very expensive, Joseph. For candy's sake and yours, I, I hope this is a good one. Fifty? Hundred? Twenty? Forty? Sixty? Eighty? Two hundred, right. Right. I've sold you Cartwrights a lot of horses, but I've never sold you one as good as this. Never for that kind of price either, Jack. Two hundred dollars for that horse. You can try your story on him. Sheriff. What do you want, Quinn? Well, I uh, heard what happened to Leggett, so I thought I just better step up and tell you what I know. Like what? Well, it was bad blood between this one and Leggett. They had a big fight out near my corrals the day they started the drive for Sacramento. Oh, I heard about that fight and four or five more. Did you hear he said he was going to kill Leggett? Did you say that, boy? Yeah, yeah, I probably did. About the time he was knocking me down or I was knocking him down. We were a little bit riled up, Sheriff. All right, you said your piece, Quinn, so uh, why don't you go on back to buying cattle and leave the law work to me, all right? I'm just doing my duty, Sheriff. Thanks a lot, conscientious citizen. Sheriff? Yeah? Can I send a telegram? To who? Ben Cartwright in Sacramento. Yeah, I reckon you can if you can write it out and pay for it. Thanks a lot. Been around here for a long time, and I've heard some pretty tall tales where this one purely stops the clock. Tell me the truth, Sheriff. That's exactly the way it happened. Well, the judge will be here in a few days. How would you like to do this man to man? No guns. Yeah. <laughs> 